I can be a victor of my words or I can be You're watching Atmosphere of Love Coming up on Atmosphere of Love I have to bear fruit to impress the Father and fruit comes out of your saintly developed character and so Jesus worked to work Jesus Christ She spoke to her body. She was having some condition in her body. She spoke to her body and the body instantly lined up. We can speak words. We can speak words to our body. Atmosphere of love. Words can start something. Words can stop something. So you ask your neighbor, how are you using it? People words? confess and they say it's not working. The reason it's not working for you is because you want artificial result. Because God made life in a way that words run life. Run life. They, they are the machinery of life. So now you want to change what you have spoiled. It will not just change like, no, one, one word or some words you've spoken was already running it, correct? Now you are changing the direction. Don't think it's just like, bang, woo, I have a testimony. <laughs> From now on words, no one will eat of you. Wow, that is serious. That shows me words can be spoken to you. Words, you can words speak to your body, you can speak words to your finances, you can speak words to your children, you can release your words to anything. If Jesus released his words to the tree, he's our Lord, he's our elder brother in the family of God, and we should follow his footsteps. Today we'll be looking at a very, very important subject. A subject that a lot of Christians uh, know, uh, but they don't really pay attention to it. Some of them pay attention to it, but they don't value it, they don't use it the way they should use it. It's a subject of your words. So we are, we are going to be talking about your, by my words, or by your words, whether however you want to put it. By your words. By your words. By your words words so people get married by words true or false people get friends by words people get enemies by words ah uh, they said true pastor true oh if not i did if not that i did not speak that i die yeah yeah yeah, yeah. People get enemies by words. People get friends by words. Words are like life wires to manifestations. Words are like what? Life wires to manifestation. In other words, words starts and words stops. Words starts and words stops. So, no matter who you are or what you are doing, if you don't use <clears throat> your words correctly, you will end up being a victim of your words. I can be a victor of my words or I can be a victim of my words. People are passing through very serious difficulty, not because God is not faithful, not because things are not working, but one reason for sure, they are not speaking the right words. They are not speaking the right words. They are not speaking the right words. They are not 
speaking the right words. During this uh, month, we will look into a lot of uh, things because the subject of words is great in the scripture. Very, very great subject of words. <coughs> God created heaven and earth by His words. Children of God will create by their words. words. See? Words. Covenants are cut by words. Agreements are done by words. words. See? People are offended by words. People are pleased by words. Now, this one, okay, I shouldn't say it. I should just say it after we read this, after we read the scripture. One morning, Jesus was walking by with his disciples and he told them. He did something in their presence. He saw the tree was was uh, having leaves, showing as though it has fruit there. It's fig tree, and then he rushed towards the tree, uh, thinking he'll have fruit. The Bible clearly spoke that it was not the time of figs. So, because it was not the time of figs, even though the the, the figs was bearing uh, leaves. Like they say, um, it was if the fig bears the leaf, it shows that the fruit is there. But then it was not a season. It was not the season. That's the key thing that but the record shows it was not the season. Okay. Um, even though uh, the fruit was not there, uh, the leaves were there. Leaves were showing that uh, fruit is there, but then there is no fruit. Jesus went close and there is no fruit. And Jesus did something in the presence of his disciples, which we'll be reading to this morning. Jesus did something. He looked at the tree, and I, I learned two things from the one. Christians who don't bear fruit, they don't impress the Father. No matter how green your leaf is. Hello? Yes. Not how you are looking. No matter how much is the gold you are wearing, bless your darling heart, and the whatever you are wearing, you have to bear fruit to impress the Father. And fruit comes out of your saintly developed character. And so, Jesus walked up to the tree, hoping he'll see fruit, but there was no fruit. I don't know about you, the where I grew up, there are some trees that malfunction. I don't know about if you've seen any. This happened to look like one, but this that's not the subject here. Because some of those trees that malfunction, in my, in my experience, after the season of mango has passed, some mango bear fruit. <laughs> have you seen any? I have seen. After the season of mango has passed, some mango bear fruit. It's a manifestation of, uh, I mean, Satan really battering the, the, the creation. Jesus came to this fig tree, hoping to see fruit, and there was no fruit. Why were there no fruit? Only God knows. But the key thing here is Jesus, the key thing why that was recorded, Jesus taught us something. Now Jesus said to the tree, from now on, no man will eat of you. Now that's very serious. Now I've seen people speak to babies <coughs> and it looks funny because baby don't talk back to them. Just, <laughs> baby don't talk to them. Oh, you want to, ah, you want water, one moment, one moment. I'm wondering how is it that the mother hears the words back from the baby. We don't hear anything, the baby just looks like this. But the mother talks and hears it. Okay, hold on, I will change your diapers. Be, just hold on, be, okay, be oh, hold on. Ah, uh -uh. only you hear the baby talk back. We don't hear the baby talk back. You know, that is embarrassing. That is, now Jesus stand in front of a tree, 
You taught baby talking to babies are embarrassing. Now is this is king of kings talking to the tree. I taught you king of kings, not king of tree. You see, he said, he said, from now on words, no one will eat of you. Wow, that is serious. That shows me words can be spoken to anything. Words can be spoken to anything. anything. You can speak words to your body. You can speak words to your finances. You can speak words to your children. You can release your words to anything. If Jesus released his words to the tree, he's our Lord. He's our elder brother in the family of God. And we should follow his footsteps. Amen? Follow his example. So you can tell your body. A sister once said, was sharing with her and my wife in last, I think it is the last service, we were teaching about Jesus, Jesus' family. She spoke to her body. She was having some condition in her body. She spoke to her body. And the body instantly lined up. We can speak words. We can speak words, words to our body, to our academics, to our career, to our family. We can speak words. You see? So I've heard Jesus said, uh, during this series we're going to look at angels. We're going to look at word of God. We're going to look at Holy Spirit. These are different ministries given to the church. We're going to look at this during this series. Now, during this series, you're going to learn some very, very important things. You remember the man with the talent? He says, he says when the master came and said, come back, give records of uh, whatever you have used, whatever I gave you to do. One of them particularly, one of them, one of them said, I know you are an austere man. You are a bad fellow. You always want to reap where you do not sow. So I kept your money for you. You know what the master said? The master used his own words to judge him. The master said, you knew I was an austere man, using his own words. If you knew I was an austere man, why didn't you put it in the bank? At least when I come, I'll have some interest on it. Because you knew I was an austere man and you didn't put it in the bank, and judged him. Now, he didn't say, why didn't you use it? He used his own words. I don't know if that's opening your eyes. See, a fellow, uh, the master came, one talent, two talent, three talent, five talent. I'm going far, work with it, I'll be back. And then he came back, and everyone worked with theirs, only one talent didn't work with his or hers, whatever it may be. It didn't work. And then he now asks, why didn't you work? He said, uh, um, uh, you are a very bad fellow. Because you are a bad fellow, I did not use your money. I kept your money in the ground. This is your money. Then he said to him, because you said, because you said I am a bad fellow. You should have kept my money in the bank. Because you said you knew I was a bad fellow. You didn't keep my money in the bank. Now you're judged. Now they arrested him. How people's words can put them in bondage? Are you there? Yes. How people's words can put them in bondage? So words starts and words stops. Words can start something. Words can stop something. So you ask your neighbor, how are you using your words? You're watching Atmosphere of Love. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. BTS has been amazing. It has helped me understand God's word better. BTS has been so amazing for me. Like I, I learned many things about love, uh, the Holy Spirit. BTS has been uh, a blessing for me, and uh, my life has changed to this uh, BTS. BTS, and BTS made me uh, to understand what the world is, what is love means. All my final problems have been saved. I'm very much happy. 
BTS basic training center organized uh, by uh, church was really really nice it has been a um, um, it has been a blessing it's been a life transforming I attended the BTS classes and it's been really amazing and grateful people have taken the initiative of starting the BTS classes and helping others to know the word of god and the chapters that we studied in BTS has been really helpful to the enrichment course of BTS it's really while i was going through this BTS class i could see myself doing all that i learned and it's really helped me to and it's refreshed me and and i know i'm going to do better and i'm going to do great for all that i've learned and uh, every in every area of my life the things that i was thinking and it's really So you ask your neighbor, how are you using your words? Let's open this up quickly. Let's go to Mark's Gospel, chapter 11. And see the account I just narrated now. Let's read from verse... Uh, 10 to 12 and 20 to 23. Uh, let's read from verse 12 to 12 to 14. Pardon. Verse 12 to verse 14. And then we would read from verse 20 to 23. Can we all read together? From verse 12. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. So Jesus was hungry. Jesus was hungry. hungry. Okay. Verse 13. And seeing a fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came, if haply he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. For the time of figs was not yet. And Jesus answered and said unto him, And said unto it, No man eat fruit from thee of thee hereafter forever. That means death. Because if tree is not producing fruit, it means he's dead. And his disciples heard it. Okay, let's see verse, from verse 20 to 23 now. Are you there? Let's read together. I want to go. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, calling to remember, and said unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou castest is withered away. And Jesus answering said unto him, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass. He shall have what God says. He shall have what God says. Come on, read it now. Who are you that you will have what you say? My dear? He shall have whatsoever God says. No. He shall have whatsoever God says. He shall have whatsoever God says. I don't know, this salary is not enough. He shall have whatever he This family, nobody cares for me. I will sweep the house, clean the fan, clean everything. Nobody helps me. And you expect it to change. It will never change. I am feeling lonely. Ah. Oh, only one person said it, and that happened to be my friend. He said, I will say this, he says, he says, I'm feeling bad. I don't understand these family members. They don't cooperate in this family. I don't understand what is happening here. And let's see the husband and wife now. This one is a very big club now. I never knew I was going to marry a monkey. 
He shall. When the monkeys start throwing bananas, don't shout. This is my husband. I don't understand. He's a dumb fellow. Yes, so <laughs> don't go to say she says because he's a, she's a, we said husband, right? She says. My husband's beard is like goat's beard. He will not cut it. We bought deodorant. He will not use it. He's smelling like shit in the house. <laughs> Some people are laughing deep, 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 deep from the back side. <laughs> he shall. Your house shall never be free of shit smell. Yes, you ha you have it, right? You'll have it. Now it's so eye opening. It will be very, very it will be very, very I don't know what is this is senseless. I don't know how to even qualify you. After reading this and still be loose in your words. It's like somebody saying the ship is going to hit the rock. The ship is going to hit the rock. What is he supposed to do? Huh? <laughs> catch the ship. <laughs> How can you catch the ship? <laughs> Change the course. Use the rotor. Use the what we call, uh, is rotor is called. I mean, layman, you can say steering. Okay, it's called rotor, you know. Use it. Ah. No, we are, we are going to hit the we brought us to see we are going to hit the rock. The moment we hit the rock, all of us will arrive in the water. But you are already talking. We change it. You are talking too much. I, I told them before, the captain is not listening to me. We all are going to arrive in the water. Shark is going to have a nice lunch today. But you are talking too much. Change the direction. Do what? Change the direction. And I tell you this. When you... I have never, I have never sailed in a ship before. Okay? But I know because I have seen it. I think at least I've watched it in movies. When you start staring the rudder, it doesn't just turn like this. Wow, you're going left. <laughs> Does it turn like that? No. no. It will be as though nothing is happening. Are you there? Yes. When you're staring the rudder, the ship is still moving. Like after it is taking some distance, then it starts going this way. Am I correct? Yes. People confess and they say it's not working. The reason it's not working for you is because you want artificial result. Because God made life in a way that words run life. Words what? Run life. They run life. They, they are the machinery of life. So, now you want to change what you have spoiled. It will not just change like, whoosh. no. One, one word or some words you've spoken was already running it. Correct? Yes. Now you are changing the direction. Don't think it's just like, bang. So, woo, I have a testimony. <laughs> I said I was healed, I was healed. <laughs> it's not like that. You have confessed sickness, you have accepted sickness, you have complained, you have grinded, you have hesitated, you have said so much. Now those words are running your life. Now you're hearing this this morning and say, so I can correct that. Yes, you can correct that. Now you start correcting it and say, Pastor, it's not working. How many years you have spread that life? How many years you have spoken this nonsense from your mouth? Then you think that one second, is it magic that Jesus said, uh, anyone who does magic and says shall have whatever the magic of magic and then the magic will happen. Is that what he says? Okay, let's look at Jesus' scenario. Comes to the tree, sees no fruit, was disappointed and he took opportunity to teach the disciples. That's the main thing here. The main thing here, the man is teaching by demonstration of power of God. He's teaching. Teaching us how to flow in sonship. Teaching us how to use authority. Teaching us how to behave on earth as sons of God. He's teaching us. People say what they don't mean, mean what they don't say, all sorts of things. And they think they'll have a stable life. You are joking. 
you are joking. This life is run by words. In the spirit realm, words are currency. In the words are you purchase with it. It's your exchange power. In the spirit world, my words, they are my exchange power. So, the Hello and welcome to prayer session of Atmosphere of Love. We have been teaching you and we're featuring a program uh, during this series, Your Words. Your Words. And I believe you are blessed by it. I have it in my hands here. And if you call now, we'll send this for you for free. You didn't hear by mistake. If, we, if you call now, we'll send this two uh, disc, two DVD for you for free. For any donation you will give. Anything you give, we'll send this for you for free. It's, it's changed the lives of many people and we've been blessed by it. We've been, we've been wonderfully enriched by this truth. I want to pray for you. You have been speaking a certain way in your life. You have been very indisciplined with your mouth. Lots of time when people come to us and when we interact with people, we get to know them through their words. Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. Jesus makes us understand that your mouth defiles you, not what goes into you that defiles you. You can speak your way to success. You can speak your way to hell. You can speak your way out of your marriage. You can speak your way into your marriage. It depends on what you're speaking. Let me pray for you. <clears throat> Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for everyone under the influence of the teaching of your words and whatever we have fished right now and giving to them the truth, your undiluted words. I speak in Jesus Christ's name. Every word that you have spoken over your children, every word you have spoken over your life that has trapped you, that has bound you, this moment I speak as a man sent from God to release you. Let there be freedom in Jesus' name. Every word spoken that has entrapped you, put you in bondage, I release you from it. As you have learned and known the truth, you repent and you start speaking words of faith and words of love. Be released in Jesus' name, in your body. Be released in Jesus' name, in your finances. Be released in Jesus' name, in your family. Be released in Jesus' name. I command a release in your life, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. If you prayed with us, I believe God has done something in your life. You can write us. The announcer will give you the number and the details will be displayed at the close of the program. You write us and tell us what great things God has done in your life. When we share one testimony, others believe God and they can do the same thing and they can receive the same thing. Till we come your way in our next program, which is tomorrow, this is Apostle Edmund saying to you that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for watching Atmosphere of Love. We know you have been blessed. To partner with us, use the details now showing on the screen. Jesus is Lord.